what's up and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm jane you're welcome to my space if you're not subscribed to me yet please smash the subscribe button thumbs up this video and make sure to leave a comment at the end of it Ferdinand on this channel already so we are filming another video today talking about our racism experience but I'm going to let Ferdinand introduce himself right about now uh, my name is Ferdinand mm -hmm. like everyone knows <laughs> uh -huh. everyone everyone in Cebu know who Ferdinand is who told you does the mayor of Cebu know you everybody now you can <laughs> tell us you know, I'm straight to asking you and they'll tell you Really? Is yeah. mayor a man or a woman? He's a, he's a man. Really? Yeah. I actually don't know the that. The governor is a woman, but the mayor is a man. Ah, okay. So guys, today we are going to share our racism experience. I do have a video on this, you know, in the past. I think that video is about two years old already. I'm going to have a link in the description or up here in the cards for you guys to go check it out. So, Fedna, have you had any racism experience since you've been in Philippines? How many years have you been here? I've been here for 5 years, 5.5, 5.6 I think. Which one 5.6? 5.5 years. Okay. 5.5 years. Okay, so, have you had any racism experience since you moved here? I'm sure, every black person, <laughs> every black person <laughs> here will tell you that he has one, one or two, yeah. has uh, some experience but me the kind of experience i've had in terms of racism is not that much but mm. the only one that is so uh, obvious to me mm. was when i traveled from cebu to jensan mm -hmm. that was the peak of it because that particular day one short guy very short yeah, very, very, very short. Very like, like the when you say that short guy, we know it, we are talking about because the shortest person among all of us mm. there. So in that particular place, and because I went to my friend's place, so my friend had offered me a job mm. to work in their restaurant. Okay. So we were all working. I was uh, like, we were good. I was good. Though they used to talk something. One guy would come and say, every time the guy see me, he would be like, you are. I'm, I'm, I'm whiter than you. So, but though me, I know that they want to use that to, to, joke. Yeah, to joke. So, I decided to flow with them like that. So, whenever if they want to say this, they say they are whiter than us, I'm darker than you. Mm. Then, if they, they, the guy keeps saying me, so I'm start, I start telling him, You are fatter than me, you are shorter than me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I don't like them to like feel throw comfortable. Me. Yeah. But one time, one morning like that, we were all there working. The other guy, the guy is not working with us, he worked mm. in another restaurant close to our home. So the guy now came to me and the guy now sent, because he doesn't speak English, he mm. don't know how to speak English. So he now sent one of the one of them mm. to come and ask me if I take a bath. You get? So so the the, the guy shown the, the that because the girl she asked to come and ask me that. So the girl shown him that. Why did you ask? Why did you say that? Say that the uh, why did he take bath and he stayed down? Wow, you get so. Uh, but you know the other those those ones that speak English. Finally, I think later in the evening they came and started telling me, look at what this guy said. This thing made me to hate the guy. But you know the funny thing that happened. Mm. Yes, the following day, <laughs> the following day, this guy passed out. <laughs> what happened to him? I don't just know how it happened, but he collapsed. Mm. You get in that place we are we are we are doing this thing. So then the the wife of my friend, and because he he speak very he's, he's very eloquent in mm -hmm. English. So the guy the woman now start shouting, Fena please help, Fena please help, because they have, the woman know that I'm I'm in medicine now. Mm -hmm. So I have to I just sign. The other the other girl that was that the cashier in our own restaurant, she was like she was totally convinced that I'm not going to help. Because of what the guy yeah, said. Yeah, because of what the guy said. So that time, that girl, that our cashier was start telling the other girl, why did you have to explain to Ferdinand what mm -hmm. that guy said about him? You get so when I heard that, I just touched everything and went and resuscitated the guy. Honestly. So after which the guy now when he was already okay, 
the Ghana came to you because I have to breathe from my mouth to his tongue. CPR. Yeah, CPR. So after this thing happened, the, when the guy was okay, he now came to me was like, yeah, he's sorry, like he was telling other people to help and beg me because he can't speak English. So wow. then they were like, sorry. When he tried to say sorry, I said, no, I don't. You don't want it. I don't want any kind of sorry. That I'm already okay. I'm already used to ban because what I understand about racism in Philippines generally is that people that are racist here, they didn't go to school. Sure. The ones, the ones that didn't go to school, but the ones that are a little bit that are enlightened already, they don't. They don't. They do don't it. do. They don't do it. Unless, but don't. There are some that are enlightened that do it, but it's just a very minimal percent of them mm -hmm. that that went to school and they still do uh, criticize for, uh, like black people, people especially. Mm -hmm. and, but majority of people that are doing racism are illiterate. Yeah. You know, I've had a similar experience. With you like this. I don't know if you guys saw the video where I did um, a black girl get her hair done in the farmer's market. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box for you to go check it out. So that day I went with Judith and Judith and I we just wanted to experience it and just see what like I talked her into it and we went. And this lady kept on looking at us in a certain way and we didn't understand why she was looking at us like that. The next thing, I didn't even hear her when she said it. It was Judith she was talking to. And then she said, do you guys take a bath? Like, if we do take a bath, that why are we so black or something? Judith now said, yes, I take, I take a bath. And answered her a little bit with an attitude. But at that point, I didn't know what was happening until later. And I asked her, what really happened? She now told me that the lady was asking if we take a bath. And then I was like, okay, I'm trying to get my hair done and I don't want her to burn me. Like, if I now attack her, you get... So I just acted co um, cool with the whole thing. I was like, when she's done, I would, you know, talk to her about it. I would bring it up. But somehow I forgot. I actually forgot to talk about it. After I was done, I just wanted to go because the place was really messy and all that. You know, white people would think that because we are dark skin, we don't take a bath. Like, it's just ridiculous, you know. I've also had a, a racism experience. I think I shared it with you one time on the plane that the man said he wouldn't sit close to me. I made a whole video. I think I ranted about it in one of my videos like that on YouTube when it happened to me. I think it happened about two years ago or so. So to me, I, I don't experience racism all the time, but it does happen once in a while. Sometimes when you're in the elevator and they see that you're black, they won't just come into the elevator. They will, they will tell you to go, like literally, and they will have to wait for the elevator to come down, come get them. And I don't know why that happens, but it's not something that really bothers me. I just feel like we vloggers talk a lot about Philippines, and you barely ever see people really talk about racism. They are always, you know, talking about the best part of it. But let's also talk about the racism aspect of it that comes with it, you know. The other day, we were walking under the sun. I and other other Filipinos. So the one guy who said, hmm, "Why are you all of you walking in the sun?" <laughs> so he said that, but for now we are enjoying it. <laughs> why did he say that? So I asked him why. Why do you say that? He said because you are used to the sun. I said how? He said that's why you are you are black. No. I said I said why is it that you don't know that there are types of melanin. Yeah. That's my own melanin is dark. You also, you also have melanin, but it's a brown melanin. Mm. Okay, like the other time, uh, my, my landlady, when I came here, my landlady, we were, um, there, there's one person that, that was lacking blood. Okay? So my landlady, they were looking for who would give, mm, give blood. blood. So one guy was like, Ferdinand, won't you be able to donate? My landlady shouted, ah, black blood. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so I asked my landlady, do you think that my blood is really black? She said yes. Because you're black. <laughs> I, told, I told her, see, the only difference between me and you is just this place. If you remove this skin now, the inside is the same thing. The blood is the same yeah. thing. Everything is the same. Okay, why is it that black person, uh, the Jishina said, why is it that when a black person marry Filipino, the child will be pure black? Pure black. <laughs> It's a mystery. <laughs> a lot of things you get. Then the other person was like, "Okay, how how hot is Nigeria?" I said, 
to be honest with you. I said to be honest with you. Na Philippines. Like, Philippines is more is hotter than Nigeria. Nigeria because at least Nigeria will have some hey. seasons when there is hey. so cold. Yeah, we talking about season. We have air. <laughs> There's no air in this country. Yeah, I <laughs> so I was like, she says, okay, if that is not that hot in your country, why are you now that? I said, okay, why is it that everybody, nobody is dark in the Philippines? Why? Are you telling that this sun is not enough? It's not enough to, to make them dark. dark. I said, just forget about this, is just gin. It's just and some gin. of them actually tan, like they enjoy tanning, you know? Yeah, so that's why one day we, they were teaching us, as in we had uh, this uh, dermatology. Mm. Okay? So when they talk about that dermatology, so we have to give them my own race because if they think they are the only one that will do it, I will also cheat, cheat mm. my, my own. Okay? I, say, well, I, have, I have to try to say like, um, dermatology is purely for the Filipinos, mm -hmm. that we don't care about it. So they were like, how? I said, because have you seen a black person that has skin cancer mm -hmm. before? It is very rare to see a black person that has yeah. skin cancer, but this white skin people, but it's in the I remember, I remember a driver that's part of my travel box. This is what happened here. So I booked a ride. Normally, if you book with Grab, you put a particular pin location. So I did, and I was traveling from Manila to Cebu, I think, that time. I was traveling from Manila. It was in the night, guys. I was traveling, and then I think I put the right pin. But then he just saw that it was airport. You get because he thought it was airport, he didn't check what terminal it was and all that. And the next thing he took me to a wrong terminal. And when I I looked at it, I was like, no, this is not the terminal you're supposed to um drop me off at. So we started having an argument and I told him, No, you have to take me to the one that I pinned in Grab. Of course, I'm not dumb, so I Put that particular one. I showed him the map and let him know that he was or he, it was his fault and not me. So he was trying to make me pay extra money because um, he's going to take me to the right terminal or something. So we had a, a huge argument, and because we we're parking just by the road, people were telling him to move, to move. You know the security guard and all, and then he had to move. He took me to the right terminal and he was expecting me to pay him extra money or something like that and i refused i was like it's not my fault it's clearly your fault i'm not paying you a dime i'm just going to pay you what i'm supposed to actually pay you i'm not adding extra money or anything like that do you know what this guy did when he got off the car he went to get my luggage from the you know boots and all and then when he opened the trunk he got out my luggage me, I didn't even look at him or anything. I was trying to, you know, pull my sweaters together, my handbag, everything. Every other thing I was holding with me together. I just tried to lift the handle of my box. I just felt kata or fit or something. I don't know. It just, like, my hand was literally soiled with these guys. I think that was cough. Yeah, that was Exactly. Like, what was his reason for spitting? And you know what he did? He actually stayed there. He watched me like I was literally holding my hand like this. I don't know what to do to him. Like, you know, the next thing he looked at me, he wiped down his, his back glass so that I could know that he saw me for being frustrated. And then he tried to drive. I just rubbed the thing that was on my hand on the trunk of his car like that. And he drove off. Like, so he legit did that just to spite me. Like, because I used to add money for him. I was so pissed that day and mind you I was already running late for my flight I had to now go to the bathroom take out wipes from my bag trying to clean everything up wash my hands use alcohol like it was so frustrating I mean that I was such a wicked taxi driver I swear I actually reported him to grab him. I did I never missed time so yeah, that's pretty much our racism story, you guys. If you have more interesting stories, let us know. I don't think there's anything interesting about racism. <laughs> but sometimes when you hear some of these stories, you're going to laugh. You're legit going to laugh. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with Ferdinand and I. I'm going to leave Ferdinand's Instagram, even though his Instagram is very boring. <laughs> I'm going to leave his Instagram in the description box for you guys to check him out. And mine as well subscribe to me if you're not subscribed thumbs up my video leave a comment as well on the type of videos you guys want to see and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys
Better than this one the same thing you did in my other video. What is this? Uh-uh. That's my own piece out. This is peace out. Peace out, guys. <laughs>